स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी शैल सी हाउ टू राइट स्टोरी स्टूडेंट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट स्टोरी टेलिंग is was and will be non verbal form of literature we have seen we have come across we have observed we have noticed we have taken address of that our grandfather our grandmother why going to sleep they used to tell us stories and this time we this word long long ago once upon a time there was a king his name was harichand 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 was a very great king he was famous for helping the poor the name of his wife was taravati and they had only one son and now god wanted to test the nobility the helping nature of this king so he sent shani dev to take his exam and as it was a order of god to test हरिशंकर महाराज शनिदेव स्टार्टेड टेकिंग हिस्स एग्जाम एंड थ्रू लॉट ऑफ ऑडियंस ही हैड गॉन एंड फाइनली इवन इन दैट स्टोरी हिज ओनली सन बिकम द विक्टिम ऑफ हिज डेस्टिनेशन सो he had lost his kingdom he had lost his wife he had lost his son but he was always ready to go through any ordeal and he proved himself that he was he what he was so we have seen that our grandfather's grandmother used to tell story but it was in non verbal form not in written so boys let me tell you if you can tell the story or if you can listen the story told to you by your grand mother and father can we not write the stories we can write uh stories if we make a plan because story writing is one of the oldest form of literature if you are serious if you make plan if you select the character so you can be a very good story writer for being or for becoming the story writer you have to follow this point and see the format of the story context i told you in context use this phrase like once upon a time long long ago there was a king and his name was dasrath a very good king he was he had he had three wives he had a son named 
राम लक्ष्मण शत्रुघ्न एंड भरत इन दिस वे यू स्टार्ट द स्टोरी व्हाइल यू टेल द स्टोरी इंस्टेड ऑफ टेलिंग द स्टोरी ट्राई टू राइट इट डाउन सो यू विल बी सक्सेसफुल सो हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट योर स्टोरी बाय यूजिंग वन सम कंटेंट दिस इज कंटेक्स्ट नाउ इंट्रोडक्शन थ्रू इंट्रोडक्शन you should how to introduce main characters of the story through the dialogue and narration introduction of the story is very important it is the place where you introduce the main characters and be careful your story should not have many characters if the story is already timid with characters it can create confusion in the mind of the reader so please be alert while selecting character your story should have limited characters so that uh, these characters crowd of character do not create confusion in the mind of the reader be careful the characters and you should be very careful while introducing character his name his family background his social background his profession and all this thing this is the place introduction is the place where you want to introduce the place of happening now place is very important without place and uh, how can the story take place suppose i am teaching here so this is the place which is called jeeps so in the introduction you have to a uh, what you have to introduce the place for example in the village in the town in the city in a uh, foreign country in abroad country like this then in the it is the place where you have to introduce the time also time is also very important factor of story so in the evening in the morning in at the midnight in summer season in winter season in this way you have to introduce place you have to introduce characters you have to introduce the time place and character in the introduction and now climax is the end of the story now why do you write the climax you should be very careful what are the confusion what are the characters what are the complexity you have put in the lesson should be solved resolved at the end the suspense in the story in the climax in the story should be a uh, should come to an end otherwise your story is not complete so be careful about the complex and there you want to solve the all problem as well as you want to give some moral teaching to the listener also to the reader also now can is a now points to be considered this point four points are very important though they are very short start with your story with a striking uh, with a striking title Uh, a wonderful title a cheerful attractive title in two or three words your title should be in three or four words or two or four words and that title should be very attractive it should be um, it should be striking it should be marvelous it should catch the interest of reader or listener the story should be written in past tense If you are in need of direct speech, dialogues are there. It should be written in present tense, but you should stick to past tense while writing the story. Use as much, use as many adjectives and adverbs as you can to make the character, the place, the time interesting. And later on, <coughs> you should be very careful about the limitation of the word. If you are asked to write the story within the uh, within the 200 words, your story should contain within 
that limitation of work. So these are the points that should be kept in mind while writing the story. Now some points are also there which I would like to read uh, for you in the classroom just today. Of course this point I am going to read to you and I will say also this point to you. See here first. Writing the story is an art. In fact, it is the oldest of all literary form. Anyone can tell a story with a little care and planning. You can also write a story effectively. Features of good stories. Characteristics of good stories. One. A story has beginning, middle and end. It is a complete story. The transition the transition of one stage to the next should not be abrupt, should not be all of a sudden, it should be smooth and natural. Second, background of action. The story, a story must have a background, setting in which the plot takes place. This background is usually set at the beginning. It is sometimes done by the description of the place or time. The atmosphere should be built up in such a way that the reader may see, hear or feel it. Now characters. When you decide to write a story, it is necessary to decide who uh, will be in it. The people in story are called the characters. Before you start to write a story, think about the character you would need in the story. That is. What role will each character perform? Why is that character important to the story? In that way, we are, in that way, uh, are your characters similar or different? What can the character learn from each other? The character is a story. Uh, the characters in the story should be active. They should not look like a puppet in the hand of the storyteller. They should be, um, they should be lifelike and believable. Each character must have individually with some distinctive feature which distinguish one from other. Now the beginning. How you begin a story is very important. The beginning should catch the attention of the reader and request him to read on. A good beginning perform a dual function. It sets the scene for the action and the mood of the reader. Next, three unities. A story has number of events. Some of these events can be grouped together in a paragraph. There should be there should be unity of time, place, and action in the event happenings narrated in a paragraph. Now, middle part of the story. The middle part of the story narrates the action. The event should be given directly in other words, in which they happen. One event should lead to the other. The transition should be natural and logical and not all of sudden like electric thundering. A good uh, story is interesting, amazing, wonderful. It arouses the curiosity of reader who is eager to know what will happen next. Now plot. Once you have formed, once you have formally decided on your character and setting, you have to take, you have to make them alive with the necessary details. Your character how to do something. What your character do is turn as the plot of the story. In order to make the plot exciting, it is necessary to add problems in the story. Now direct speech, 8 number. A story has an appropriate quantity of direct speech and reported speech. The use of direct speech helps to avoid the monotony, boredom, tediousness. It breathes fresh life into the story. 9. Last. Ending. A story must have a natural and definite uh, ending. It should end naturally, not abruptly. It should give a feeling of completion and satisfaction. Now, a few hints. You must have a, I, you must have a clear idea of the plot of the story before you begin to write it. 
plan the whole story, write down the main points, arrange them in a sequence and in paragraph, be clear about the beginning, the middle, the details and the ending of the story. Begin the story without beating about the books. A long introduction spoils the charm of the story. Third, develop the story. Develop the story eventually. The various parts should be neither too long nor too short. Don't put and don't put in irrelevant detail at any stage. Exclude everything which either hinders the flow of the story or does not help it to move forward. Bring in variety by using different kind of words and sentences. The sentences may be long or short. They may be of difficult type of sentences, assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory, or in a different voice, active voice, passive voice, or of a different narration, direct, indirect speech. If an outline is given, stick to the incident and their sequence. No point should be left out. Supply the missing link, if any. The conclusion of the story is an important as its beginning. The whole story must be laid to the ending naturally. The ending should not be abrupt, nor should it come as too much of surprise. The heading, if required, should be carefully chosen. The main character, object of incident, the main character, object or incident of the story or well-known problem or a quotation that suits the story may be chosen as the heading of the story. Moral is very important. Most of the stories are pedantic, uh, advisable. They teach something that is they have some moral lesson. Give the moral and the end of the story. It is usually proper of quotation that sum up the story. Be consistent in the uh, tense view. Avoid mixing up the tenses. Remember that uh, most of the outlines outlines are given in the present tense, but stories are written in the past tense. Unless stated otherwise. Last but not the least. Use simple and idiomatic language. Sentences link. Sentence uh, linkers help in continuity and coherence. But avoid repetition of the same word, especially uh, the word there. In this way, these are the some cue, clues, some points you should take in your mind, you should bear it in your mind and try to write down the story. I will say this to you as well as some few examples of the story to you. I hope uh, you might have understood it. Thank you. Thank you a lot.